again painters it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and I'm back today for a little bit of painting fun so I have previously done a peacock style pour where I did um, peacock colors on a negative space just a small canvas but it was really pretty but if you've seen that video you will have remembered that uh, I made a crazy mistake I set out all my paints and then I put the wrong paints in the cup uh, I missed out my cobalt blue and I put white in instead so I knew there were supposed to be five colors but I completely messed that up so today Today I'm going to recreate it. I'm going to try to put the right colours in my cup. So let's review what I've got. I've got this one, the Deco Art Metallics in uh, a lovely peacock pearl. And then this one, which is Colour Shift. Oh, you've got to love those Colour Shift paints. This one is Purple Flash. Then I have this one, which looks like a Christmassy coloured green. This is uh, Crystal Green. These are all metallic paints, so they're nice and shiny. And then I have my Cobalt Blue. Don't forget to put the cobalt blue in this time, you crazy person. And I have um, just a regular shiny gold. So I'm going to create a flip cup. I want to try and create a fan effect. So it's going to have a negative space around white at the top and then this fan hopefully at the bottom. And this time I'm, not going, to, I'm going to put the cobalt blue in the cup and not the white. So I've got some white mixed here. This one doesn't have any silicone in. This one is just going to be my negative space paint. These ones are all mixed um, with Floetrol, water and uh, treadmill belt silicone in all of these paints, including in the squeezy bottles too. So let me make up my flip cup. Oh, I don't have a cup. Now I do have a cup. Okay. So remember, no white. The white's going to stay over here and I've got these five colours. So let's layer them in. Now it's only a small canvas today and I've prepared it in advance just by painting white around the sides and I'm just going to layer my paints in here. I don't have a whole bunch of them because it's just a small canvas and I'm actually going to pour them in here quite carefully because I would like my colours to stay separate pretty much I think. We will see how it goes. So I'm going to pour them carefully into the cup. There's those first three. Mustn't forget the other two. Cobalt blue, I missed you the first time. You are very welcome in here the second time. I'm going to just let that run down the side. Some cobalt blue. And then my favourite, the lovely shiny gold. A little shake. Let that run down the side there. And now I'm just going to um, go around again and finish off the rest of the colours so that we've got two layers of each colour in the cup. These colour shift paints are always fabulous. This is the purple flash. It looks kind of purple but also looks like an electric blue colour. That's that one. This Christmas green. Um, you know, if you've been watching a while, you'll recall that green is not my favourite colour to paint with. I love green. Now, I live on a tropical island. It's all very green and lush, and I love that. But for some reason, when I put green in my paintings, I never like them. So hopefully this one will be successful today. And then this peacock pearl. Well, you have got to love this peacock pearl colour. Unfortunately, um, the paints are a bit hit and miss sometimes on the island. I can go to the paint store with a plan, but uh, you never know what's going to be actually in stock. Peacock Pearl would always be on my shopping list. Okay, and now my second layer of blue. Let me just put that in carefully over there. And some more gold, which I'll put over there. Okay, so I've layered these all in quite carefully, so I'm not getting any cells in my cup right now, but we will see what happens when I flip them up. So I'm going to flip it around at this point so that it runs off the canvas, and hopefully I can make kind of a curved pattern that way. We will see. So I'm going to flip the cup slightly off centre, and then fill in this area with my white. And I'll just spread it out a little bit with my palette knife. But most of this I'm expecting is going to tip off the side anyway. We will see how it goes. I think I've also got quite a bit less in my flip cup this time than what I had the first time round. But we will see what happens. 
There we go. The edges are already painted white, so I don't need to worry too much about covering up the edges. Okay, are we good? I think we've got everything in view. So I'm now going to lift up my cup and let's see what comes out. Give it a final tap for luck. Oh, hair. Cats, you get everywhere. Okay, let's go for it. Ooh. Now it looks totally different from last time. Not only is it very much more blue, but I don't have any white in my cup. So that also makes it look very different to last time. Because I put quite a lot of white in, and although I had the metallics and the bold colours, um, I think the white kind of almost dilutes them. It makes them more subtle if you mix them with white, I think. Okay, so let's see how I go on with my tilt. I've got a lot of the blue and the green, quite a bit of the gold, but the purple flash is a bit missing for now. Hopefully we can get some of that back. So I'm trying to create an arc so that it looks almost like the shape of a tail. There we go, move it back this way a little bit more. So at the moment I'm feeling it's looking a bit Christmassy Got a lot of that green and blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring it down and start to taper it off the bottom of the canvas now. Let's see how it goes. There we go. I'm gonna take it back up and see if I can smooth out this side just here. Very good. And as I tip it round, what I'm hoping is I can bring some more of this golden pink in here. Because I do have a bit too much of the blue and the green, especially the green for my liking. So let's carry on. I'm going to drag that off down the bottom a little bit. Again, turn it back up this way. If I can do it, if I continue to do it in um, in like a circle, hopefully I can move the paints a little bit more where I want them. Okay, I think I'm good with this. So I'm now going to let that just drip down there. Well, there's a bit too much green. It's not as peacocky as I would like. So I think what I'm going to try to do is put some spots of gold because I've got the gold in my um, squeeze bottle and I think if I do that maybe put little spots of gold around here it would replicate like the eye that you get on the peacock's feather um, and it's a shame that most of the other colours are the blue and green but let's see what we do. I'm going to try and put little spots of gold that represents the eye on the peacock feather. And I'll put them round in a curve along the top here. And hopefully that will look good. And especially when it dries, it will be more sparkly and I think then it will look very good. So make these a bit bigger. Make more of a feature of them because they will um, sink down into those other colours a little bit. I'm not sure of the density of my gold, whether it's lighter or more or heavier than some of the others. So I put a little bit more. Hopefully I will get it more in my pour. Okay. Oh, now I'm not sure that I like it. Maybe it needs a little spot of blue within the gold. Let's try that. Oh, now that looks nice. I like it better already. Now I don't have any of those other colours left otherwise I could have kind of layered it up a little bit and had an eye with all sorts of different colours. But I think I'll just go with the blue and the gold. See and that's what I've got. That's better. Okay. So I still think actually I preferred the one that I did before because this one the crazy Christmas green has taken over, um, whereas the other one, it was a little bit more subtle because of the white, but it's still cute. So I'm gonna dry this one off and then I do have some plans for it. What I'm hoping is to somehow paint um, a silhouette of a peacock 
in black kind of in the middle here with the tail coming out behind we will see we will see how it that turns out so hang around and I'll show you what this looks like when it's finished but for now I'm going to bring the camera down and show you some of the details so there we go just look kind of tail shaped there's a little bit of a gap here maybe I'll try and fill that in a little bit in a minute but we'll see so certainly the colors are very very different to how I did it before I still think actually I prefer the one that had the white in and um, I will bring that one back in at the end of the video so we can compare the two results and um, yeah I'm not a big fan of the green so even though these are peacocky type colors and I've got these little spots along the top there I think I could have used a bit less green Never mind, we will see what it looks like when it's all dry. So here it is finished. The painting's dry now and it looks pretty good. The, um, the metallic paints in it are really shiny and sparkly, so it does look nice. This is the one that I had completed before. So this is with the original Peacock Paw where I'd forgotten the cobalt blue. And actually, um, I think I still prefer this one. This had the white instead of the cobalt blue in the cup. And I think it looks less peacocky, but as a painting, I think it's actually more successful. The edges on this one were really nice, where on this one, the edges didn't bleed out really into the white at all. And I tried to kind of drag it out into the white and just, it doesn't look that super stellar. But with the little eyes around the top there, I think it doesn't look bad. So what my plan is, is to now try and take um, a silhouette of a peacock's head and kind of paint in here. So I haven't sealed this one or varnished it or anything yet, because that will be an upcoming video where hopefully I will manage to put a peacock in here and then seal it and we will see what it looks like. So thanks very much for watching this video. Um, it was a nice change to go back and do a, a previous project again and uh, look forward to seeing you for the next one when we add our peacock shape on this one.